So today I'm coming at you with 10 hours of Trav runs. And there's a reason why I never really did this a whole lot in the past. A lot of you, if you ever caught my live streams, you would have heard this story before. So you guys really want me to do Trav pretty bad, huh? Well, there's a reason why I never actually do Trav. Back in the day, I was going to run Trav 500 times. That was kind of the plan anyways. I did almost 400 runs. I got to about 380. I found a Mal Rune and I found a Wisp. And that was it. Uh, 380 runs is a ton of time. I just, I just couldn't do it. I, I, I had to just give up and just move on to to an area that I thought would would work out better. So yeah, not the worst luck in the world, but that was some pretty bad luck at Trav. But you all begged me and begged me and begged me to go run Trav. You said it, I would find a bunch of good stuff and it would turn my idea around of what Trav was. So let's see it. So I do want to mention too, real quick at the beginning of the video, I had asked all the time. The run count is always going to be in the upper right hand corner of the video and the player's difficulty and the magic find is in the lower right hand corner. I'm switching back and forth between players one and players three throughout the entirety of the runs. I'll just hit circlets and I don't feel like spending three years trying to. Oh, well, I mean, poison and bone cast rate with all res with damage reduced magic damage. I mean, that's not bad. I don't know when, I'm, I don't know, maybe if you need FCR on your poison and bone necro, that's not bad. Battle hammer right off the bat. Guys, where's my high rune at? I just killed Trev and I did not get ethereal. Ethereal earth shaker. That's pretty interesting off the bat, huh? Not even an official run. It's the first, uh, first uh, little attempt at throwing random stuff together here. Uh, battle boots. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta pick everything up, put it in the cube. Some alders boots. No good on those. Uh, six percent magic find. I could probably use that and throw out one of these life charms I got. And uh, forty-four middle of the road res on uh, some alders. No good. No good. No good. Fighter web sash. Can you can you believe? This is what I mentioned before, too. I'm shocked at how off every single time I do a set of runs, I find a a set spiderweb sash that rolls with the, you know, the blue with a double durability. Literally every time now. It's like every third one I pick up is. It's crazy. This one is a non-ethereal version, but another guardian angel. Right there. We've got the Cuckoo Kachu bow. Kuko Shikaku, the one for the Act 1 mercenary that's kind of good now, right? Kind of good now. Oh, not a bad, bad little charm. Not perfect, but almost seven with a little bit of res on it, too. Ghost armor. Blood Spirit's cool. What is that? Cerberus Bite, I think? Yeah, look at that. Kind of an interesting one that isn't quite there isn't isn't really there interesting and semi-rare semi-rare one telling you beads kind of a rare one not as a uh, more rare than you'd think a level 30 amulet would be but kind of a rare one there we go let's see if it's even better than the one I got now a 39 it's probably not gonna be better than a 39 odds are 24 ooh 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 not a very good one. Not a very good one. But it's a Geeds. Uh, and I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just not as good at learning mecha game mechanics as other people too. That could possibly... Oh, there we go. That could very easy possibly be it. Oh, it is lightning, but a 3-4 rough. But... Oh, well. Little find some Marowak. 175, let's see, 14, 17. There are some advantages to finding things faster and easier on single player. I'm not, whoop, I'm not gonna lie about that. What we got up here, a uh, Tal's belt, huh? Hopefully that rolls good for me, huh? Uh, 14 magic fine. Uh, I forget the range now, so, dumb fill. But here we got Tal Rosh's fine spun cloth, right? Oh, try res, but very low. Very low. That's too bad. When you find tri-res boots, you wish they were a little bit higher. 
Hmm. Yeah, well. Oh. Lem rune, new best. New best rune. Let me, let me uh, item find all this stuff out here. Maybe we can get something else too, huh? Now, a Lem rune. New, is this? New godly rune, fellas. New godly rune. Best so far, though, I guess, huh? So, barely, barely any that are really any good from gambling rings here. But, a full, a full everything full of gold. I just got some meh rings for, like, essentially playing through the game. I mean, attack rating strength, you get your mana leech on a, for a melee character, maybe. It's a little playthrough ring, a little playthrough ring. 10-10, you can kind of get that on a rare, even, with better stuff. A three three resistance life leech ring for a melee character, and just a little playthrough ring. So nothing crazy from gambling rings with all the gold I got from Trav. Yeah, praise Iron Jesus. Speaking of, yeah, just got my S O J. Maybe unique ring from Trav. No, it rolled badly. But let's see what this. Let's see how good this S O J is, huh? Eh, Raven Frost, not an SOJ, but 236? 236, 236, 18? I think that's good, right? Isn't it 240 max in the attack rating? Don't remember what the dex rolls to, but that's a good Raven Frost, right? You guys, just give me a little tap of that like button. Much appreciated. It'd be great. Thank you very much. Also, absolutely free. Oh, another Lemuroon. And a small charm. So that's a double up of the best rune I found from Trap so far. <laughs> But, and plus when I was talking to the uh, commissioner dude or whatever, he's like, if you start your, 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 uh, if you, if you're starting your throw or whatever, that's not a bad ring. Life, cast rate, and try res. Too bad they're all low though, but not bad. The thing that pissed me off, oh, another Lem. Another Lem rune. Apparently just Lems just fall out of the sky out here at Trav, huh? Just fall out of the sky. That stinks. He was fine for so long, and now all of a sudden, it seems like every run he gets just slapped. Good old Duriel shell. Having a budgety, strength, life, not be frozen, all resistances. Kind of a budgety one for the mercenary gets used a lot, or you can throw it on your character, right? Small term. Almost missed it. You guys would have not been happy if I missed that one. It's not a bad small charm. I guess walk run. I never really use walk run a whole lot with the 10 lightning res, though, you know? Oh, yes! Actually, that's way more exciting than I realized at first. Woo! I was looking for some Drax. Let's go. I love when you're looking for an item and you find it when you're not even really trying to get it. Boom! Now I got that life tap and I can use this for farming torches. Hmm. Another, uh... Mage Fists early on in ladder. These things are worth a bazillion gazillion runes. Well, like a... You get like a... Something good for it anyways early on in ladder. Oh! Ogreax! Let's go. 312. Bone Hugh! Gotta love Ogrex. Unless you're going for like pure experience gain, because experience gain does change on every difficulty. But a Lost's Crossbow, a Hell Rack, which one of them ones that just never quite got there. Comes with two open sockets at 199. Isn't that one off of perfect? Or maybe it goes higher, I can't remember, but the elemental damage just never really made it there for it. Just one shot at that, bro. Boom! Get out of town. Antor Trophy. Kind of a rare one. Kind of a rare one, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Natural Res Battle Cry. Darn. Wrong skills. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of a rare one. Nice. Trangul's Wing. Just, like, considering they do worse, and I don't... You know, it's harder to do. It's kind of like, eh. Rising Sun. You can throw that on to get a ton of Fire Absorb. 
ton of fire absorb, right? If you wanted to. Oh, Vampire Fang Belt. Someone was just asking about this the other day. Like, hey, you should throw this on. And I was like, haven't found one yet. Until now. So Nosferatu's coil. Nothing crazy, but increase attack speed, life leech. Some strength. Man after kill. It's going to get more enhanced damage or something, and it's going to be way better. If they do that, if, if you change the enhanced damage on the items, it'll, like, tank your, your game, so... I think, anyways. I'm not... I'm no programming expert, but... Good old Trank's Gloves. FCR, Cold Res, and, of course, the poison damage for those Necros. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Keep messing up. What was that one? Damage reduced by 22. How high does that go? Does anyone remember? I'm gonna hang out of that for a second. Isn't that some nasty... Couldn't that be some nasty thing for, uh... Like the Immortal Sorcerer type of thing? I don't know how high that damage reduction comes on... Tierras and stuff. Does anyone know that offhand? By chance? Wingtown. See if we get something, something else coming out over here. A little something. Obviously getting yourself a, uh... G face, little old G face with my face in the way, no big deal. Deadly strike, crushing blow, nasty. Yeah, Jake says if, if you can kill the council in two or three swings. Yeah, so right with what I got now, this on players one here. I, sometimes it's only one swing to be honest, but it's usually one or two or. Oh, Dustra, there we go. But when I switched the players three, it, it slowed down, so I decided. I'm, I've been bouncing back and forth, I mean, is what I was trying to say. Let's see what this Ormus is, huh? Ooh, Blizzard Ormus, baby! Let's go! That's actually a good skill there, for sure, to get on your Ormus there. A Blizz Ormus? Let's go! I've never gotten a Blizz Ormus before. No ad Saturday. I am gonna hang on to that one. That's a pretty cool amulet. 3 to cold skills, 29 magic vine. That's pretty cool. Rocking a Blizzard Sorceress gets more magic fine. Woo! I like that one. Slam an emote in the chat if you like that one. Grand Charm. That's gonna be a skiller right there. I guarantee it. All I do right now is it's gonna be a skiller. I told you it was gonna be a skiller! I knew it! I hadn't found a skiller in a long time. 37 life skiller. Defensive auras. Thank you, game, for making it Defensive auras. <laughs> 71 to life, fire res. That's not a bad charm. Life with lightning res on it? That could help somebody out pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. For spam, report it for pornography, report it for everything. You, I put their, their, the actual bot's full name and, and I have Tinder. And I have just separately pieces of their name in the banned word list that I also have checked. Well, we're going to stop talking about the bot real quick because we actually got a good drop. A cold skiller for the sorceress. So let's not worry about the bot that I can't ban for some reason. One cold skiller for the sorceress. That's going to make a great clip for the video. <laughs> Amulet. Uh-oh. You can do it. You can do it. Eh, Saracen's Chance. Not that great. Wish it was a perfect, uh, perfect Mars, but it is indeed not. <laughs> oh, let's go. Not ethereal, good. Some T-Strokes. I only had one other set of T-Strokes, and I don't remember what they rolled as. Bone Snap down here too, huh? Not that that's anything crazy, but... Uh, 153. Hmm. <sighs> Well, whatever, but I think I got a better pair already. Four skills, though. Four, four javelin skills, so actually, I think the other one... Good old Flame Bellow, which should be better, but for whatever reason... Not better. But, grab this... Flame Bellow. Little bit behind me. Make yourself an Inferno Barb, like a boss. Gotcha, yeah, it's, it's all Elder, it's Elder Scrolls music from Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim is all the music, but I can't tell which, 
which one of the three games it's from. Those ones, I played those games so much. Those three in particular. So much. That's not bad. Magic Find Fire Res. I love having that make up those resistances while packing Magic Find in your inventory. Love finding those. Yeah, it's a couple new members. Thank you for the support. A billion, trillion, million. It means a lot. Literally would not be possible for me to keep making videos and streaming without you. So thank you guys so much for anyone who does support the stream. And thank you all for just hanging out, hitting the like button, all that good stuff. Oh, man. SOJ on the last run of the day. Hope you guys didn't leave as soon as I said it was the last run. Because I just got an exciting one right here. Zona Jordan. Ugh. Oh. Well, nature's peace is kind of a good thing, right? To just get increased drops, but not make it super, super hard and too slow that it would be, like, painfully slow. Five to battle cry. Five to battle cry. Darn. Wrong, wrong five two, I think. Battle cry is a little... Just a wrong skill, unfortunately. But, oops. Come on. You can do it. Amulet? I've been getting several unique amulets. One of these have got to roll as the Amaras, right? One of them's got to be the Maras. Be the one. Eh! High Lords. High Lords is a good find. I've got one or two of them already, but... I have to do all the time. That's... Oh, what? Is that... That's the second... Um... The second, uh... I can't remember what they're called now. That I found here. I'll uh, remember what they're called uh, after I ID it. Thunderstrokes. 186, but then just two to skills. Oh, and an SOJ. Let's go, baby. Do it. Ah, of course it's not. It's a terrible Nagel Ring. Oh, all kinds of... St oh, another Geeds, huh? I could always use a better Geeds Grand Charm, right? What do we got here? 39, 39 magic find there, but some of my other characters could use a better one. Let's see what we get here. A good old Geeds. 34? I mean, it's not very good. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Kayla Keith, appreciate it. Love the YouTube videos, appreciate it very much. Oh, there you go. Double durability Shaco. You tried giving me a set Shaco. Apparently this happens literally all the time. And I just never notice because I never pick them up. That's the second time it's happened at Trav here, so. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so close to... If, if that would have been, like, one more to Barb skills, even if it was uh, five, five battle orders, four find item, that would be such a sick helmet. I have one pretty similar on regular D2 that's... It's five find item, four to battle orders, though. Dang, yo. So close. That's pretty sick. So close to, like, super mega nasty. Um, let's see if we can do that here. Huh? Maybe we'll hork one more. Wouldn't that be crazy? How's it, how's this Tal's Orb? A 2-1-1. Not great. Not great. You really want it to be the 2-2-2, two, 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 but oh well. And the Tal's Amulet. Dude, that'd be such a nasty one if it was both of them. Imagine that. Uh, Andrew C. says if you can, find find one of those local places to get Chinese food from. Yeah, that, that's generally what I do. Um, oh, well, Lightning Res Walk Run Charm. It's uh, semi-interesting. Get two semi-useful things there. Lightning Res, everyone needs it. Certain builds, Walk Run's kind of cool, so. Oh, and a Fall Rune. There you go. Legendary. There's those runes we're talking about. See what this Tal's Belt rolls as, huh? Ten Magic Find. Oof. Another tenor. Let's grab this stuff real quick. Pass it. Give me a guess what do you guys think it is, huh? Let's see what we're going to get here. Let, let's see what we're going to get here. 4-4 four, four cold. Another non-perfect, but... Hello. Perfect laying of hands. Oh, yeah. A level 30? Wow, that's kind of neat. Dual res, life leech, attack rating, 10 FCR, level 30. It's not bad. Not bad, right? 
We got uh, good old. You got to get yourself one of those at early in uh, early in the game before you get a digma. You get the sixty nine charges on the Nage's puzzler, right? For teleporting around. Ooh, war hat. Good old peasant's crown, legendary elder staff. That's a rare one. Andal's wisdom, five percent experience gained. One of one of the very few items in the game that gives you experience gained. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting, right?